What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be starting a new series called My Top 3. This series is going to be very dependent on you, the subscriber, the commenter, the viewer. In future episodes, the topic is going to be decided by you. If there is a top 3 that you want me to cover and give you, then leave a comment down below. I'll be choosing the top comment or the most supported comment for the next video. This could be anything, this could be my top three handstand exercises, my top three post-workout shakes, my top three recipes, my top three loaded mobility stretches, my top three books, whatever. So let's jump into today's my top three. We are gonna be looking at stretches for the latissimus dorsi. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering what is your lat? What does it look like? Why is it important to bodyweight training? We're then going to be covering, based on that, what rules are important to apply when stretching. But lastly, we're going to be covering my top three stretches. The latissimus dorsi is, as I said, arguably one of the biggest muscles in your body. It connects all the way from your lower back and it runs around and up into your upper arm or your humerus. It's an incredibly important muscle for a multitude of reasons. I mean, at a very functional level, it's used in the pull-up, in the row, but having good mobility in the lat is also very important for anything that's going to be remotely overhead. So this is going to be things like our handstand. Whenever you're in the gym and you see people stretching, often you see them stretching out their pecs or you see them stretching their hamstrings, but very rarely do you actually see people doing focused stretching on their lats, which I find weird because it's a very commonly tight muscle among especially bodyweight athletes who are doing all of those pull-ups all the time and can often be one of those small things that hold people back from getting good overhead mobility. So today we're going to cover my top three exercises. We're going to have some rules for those top three exercises. The first rule is no arching of the lower back. People who actually do stretch their lats, you often see them against a wall and they have their arm above them and they're pushing their body into the wall and you see this giant banana in their back. This is going to stretch your lats to some extent but it's not going to put any proper tension on the lat. The reason for this is that we're actually making the stretch easier for ourselves by arching our back. It's going to make the distance that we're stretching shorter and therefore reduce the tension on the muscle. When we want to stretch the lat we want to maintain a hollow body position. This is going to put our body in a very slight arc over having this big arch in our lower back. This is going to put much more tension and stretch out the lat much more effectively. The second rule is supination. So as I said, the lat actually connects into your arm, not just your shoulder. So what we can do to further intensify the stretch on our lats is simply supinate the arm. Often you see people they have the hand flat against the wall and they'll be pushing down and what this can actually do is put a lot of pressure on the shoulder capsule and not a whole lot of pressure on the lat. A simple way to reverse this is by supinating the hand and really intensify the stretch. So let's jump into the exercises. The first exercise is the butcher's block. For this exercise, you're simply gonna want a piece of dowel or a rod. In this case, I'm using a broomstick handle a block and in this case I'm using the wall that you see in front of you and preferably some sort of padding just to make this a little bit more bearable when you're in that stretch. To get into the stretch we're just going to start on our knees, we're going to place our elbows on the block in front of us and we're going to grab the rod. We want to grab the rod at a width that is slightly outside the width that we're keeping our elbows. This is going to add an element of extreme supination, it's going to intensify the stretch we want to make sure when we're performing this exercise that we're still following the rules of maintaining that nice hollow body and not excessively arching our lower back when we're in that stretched out position. From here we want to try and force our scapula through our chest and really flex in the thoracic portion of our spine. We can either choose to hold this position in an active stretch for 30 seconds or we can add some movement to it and perform 10 reps of basically a bicep curl with a 10 seconds hold on the 10th rep in that most stretched out position. Neither is better, find what works for you and do that. The next stretch is the hanging side pull. Now you can use either a bar, ring, 
or even better, a set of stool bars or Swedish bars. Either is fine. I only had a set of rings, which is why I'm using this video, but the stool bars are by far the best option. All you're gonna do is grab the bar rings or stool bar with whatever side you want to stretch. You're then going to support your weight on your opposite leg. You're then gonna swing the same leg as the one you're holding the bar round behind you, and you create this big curve throughout your body from toe to hand and then you're simply going to hang in that position. If you're doing this on the stool bars you can use your other hand to push your body away and further intensify the stretch but if you only have a bar and rings all you're going to do is simply hang. Just as before we can hold this position for 30 seconds or we can add some movement into it and perform 10 reps with a 10 second hold on the last rep. As always guys, the form cues apply. Try not to arch your back too much. It in fact helps to have a slight hollow so you're twisting into the hold and then it will further increase the stretch on your lats. The last stretch is this horizontal pulling stretch. It works in a very similar way to the previous stretch that we had, although it seems to target a little bit lower down on the lat. To perform this exercise, you're simply going to need something to pull against. In my case here, I have some door handles, although you can also use just a single standing bar, a horizontal bar that is at hip height, or preferably a stool bar, Swedish bars if possible. You are going to follow the form cues as always and stick to a supinated rather than a pronated grip. All you want to do is grab whatever you are pulling against in a supinated shoulder wide grip. You're going to stand with your feet starting at about a meter away from whatever you are pulling and simply sit back into the stretch. If you want to intensify this stretch further you can use a one arm variation and twist away from the stretch slightly creating a similar body position to what we had on stretch number two and if you have stool bars then you can place your feet on different rungs of the stool bars as well to create a very intense lat and hamstring stretch. Once we found the position that we find comfortable, simply we're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. As always guys, make sure this hold is active. We really want to be actively pulling away from the object that we are holding. But that has been it for today guys. Don't forget to leave your comments or suggestions for the next topic of my top threes in the comment section down below and thumbs up a comment if you see something that you'd also like to see. This is going to be a series for the community by the community so make sure you get down there and join the conversation. If you just enjoyed this video then make sure you hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. So now you know how to stretch your lats and you have a friend who you see doing it all wrong then share this video with them and help a brother out. But that has been it for today guys. I will catch you in the next Day of the Life vlog, Way of the Warrior episode 2. But until then, have a strong week and peace.